I didn't want to buy these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I did not want to buy these. I didn't want to be a stereotype. I didn't want to be a statistic. What up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade Fox, and this is the Made You Looks channel. And today we're talking a lot of boot action. All right, I'm gonna show you my boot collection. It's not big. It don't need to be big. But I have the essentials. I feel like I finally have like all of the boots that I need for any type of look I want to pull off. So if you like this, if this sounds like something you'd be interested in, stay tuned, man. And I'm not gonna say to like the video or subscribe because you don't even know me yet. I went through some bull to get some of these, or as Bernie Mac would say, some bullshit to get some of these boots. But I'm gonna tell you those story times as we as we move through the video. Let's go ahead and start off with the first one. I'm not gonna talk too much about these because y'all have seen me so much in these videos. These black, tall dupes of the Bottega Veneta boots. I wear them often, they go with a lot. I mean, they're just a plain black shoe. The Bottega Venetas are very high. I did not pay that much for these. Maybe these were like maybe a hundred bucks, maybe a little bit over a hundred bucks. I was afraid that they were going to be a little bit too big for my foot, but they are not. They have the silhouette of the boot that I love, which is that tall mid calf shaft with a slightly chunkier build in the actual like sole, as well as the toe box here. It's got the elastic paneling on the side, like you see with a lot of Chelsea boots. It's just your basic boot, your basic edgy girl boot. You know, she's different. This is that boot. So, and then these pull tabs, I did not know how helpful pull tabs were until I had a pair of boots that didn't have them, which I will show you in a minute. But these pull tabs up at the top are so helpful. I'm very glad that I purchased these boots, especially considering I got them in the dead of summertime and it made no sense for me to get them, but I bought them and I'm just very, very happy. Whenever I bust these out, I'm either doing like a simple look, but I want to edge it up a little bit or I have on a cropped pant. This is kind of my go-to boot from wearing anything cropped because I love I don't know what it is man I just love when you have a cropped pant and then instead of seeing that break in between the shoe and the pant where it's just your skin like the like part of your calf or like the top of your ankle and it's just boot action oh, chef's kiss next up are these brown Chelsea boots from Zada. These boots, I pretty much only got because they're brown and I needed a brown pair of boots. I'm not much of a derby person or like a dress shoe person. I'd rather wear a dressier boot than a dressier low top. I mean, it makes sense. I prefer high top sneakers over low top sneakers, but I just like it when, you know, the sexiness comes up over the ankle. It just does it for me. So I wanted a brown dressier shoe that wasn't really a dress shoe just cause like, that's not really my vibe. And I saw these at Zara and I had to cop them. It's got the exaggerated, I forgot which designer brand kind of coined this or started this. The sun is doing a lot right now, but it's got that exaggerated sole here on the sides. Just a plain chocolate brown. I thought they were actually going to be a bit of a lighter brown, so I was a little disappointed in that, but they still work. They work with everything. I actually have a brown suit that I was planning to wear for the holidays because I don't know what I thought. I thought that like, oh, maybe outside will be legal by then. It's not, did not get a chance to wear these with that brown suit. But a lot of looks I plan on putting together with these. And brown is one of my favorite colors to just kind of add into an outfit, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And so these will go very well with navy, gray, black, burgundies, olives, greens. So I'm excited to pair these with something. And I also wanted a Chelsea boot that had a little bit of spice because my thing with Chelsea boots is living in Los Angeles, California made me hate Chelsea boots because when I tell you every single day of my life <laughs> I'd walk outside and see a man or a girl honestly everybody skinny jeans and these suede Chelsea boots with some greasy hair and a v-neck like Balenciaga t-shirt I hate them <laughs> and so when I was looking for a pair I was like they just cannot they cannot remind me of that girl that I once knew. And I can't, they can't be those kind of Chelsea boots. They need to be a bit different, which is why I went with these Zara chocolate brown Chelsea boots that have this, they are a bit taller and the shaft here, like I like it. They do have the elastic paneling as well as the exaggerated soles. So there was enough elements about it that made it different enough to not give me PTSD. Next, this was an Instagram purchase. This was like an impromptu, like impulse purchase. I did not, think about this heavily before I bought these. And I actually kind of regret it because these, like these are fine, like these boots are fine. I've definitely wore them out, but they're a little like duckish. They're just a bit bulbous 
right here and it's so shiny it just looks like the shoes got a big ass nose i don't know i mm. i think what attracted me to them was once again this mid calf shaft here and just the fact that it's got gum sole i really enjoy gum soles on shoes i think it's a nice little bit of uh uniqueness that when you add that to a shoe and the fact that it was just kind of your basic black Sorry, I'm like, don't know where to hold these. <laughs> where am I going? Just your basic black boot is what attracted me to these. These are like a hundred bucks though. And if I saw these in person, I probably would not have bought them. It was an impulse buy. I'm not gonna return them. I mean, I do wear them, but every now and then I'm like, I regret you, you know what I mean? And by the way, I will leave the links to all these in the description below. All right, the boots with the story. I have to tell you about how I got to purchase these Anne de Mulemeester boots. I have been on the hunt for a pair of dressy boots that weren't brown, just plain black ones, for months, months. I thought I found them and I showed y'all in my recent pickups video that I uploaded like back in like September maybe or October, I don't know whenever that was. But I showed you these Vagabond boots that I bought and I thought that these were going to be my dressy boot. I thought that I had won the battle. Turns out I didn't, they were a little too big. So I sent them back and I was going to buy the next size up when I actually got my money back from that purchase. The problem though, the whole time though, my size hadn't sold out, the shoes hadn't even sold out. I was like, damn, don't I didn't want these shoes but me, I guess. And so I wasn't really that pressed about it. And then when the time comes for me to actually purchase the shoes, they go out of stock. So, so I'm still searching, I'm still waiting to find the perfect boots and I found them in these Anne de Mulemeester boots. Here they are in all of their beautiful, glory that beautiful square toe made in italy i mean it's andy millimeter they're iconic boots i'm really glad that i purchased these it's got this ykk zip down the side for easy access even though it does not make things easier these are the boots that i wish had a pull tab however aesthetically i understand why they don't they are 100 percent calfskin leather i want to say i wanted a basic black dress boot that didn't lean too far into any real aesthetic like i didn't want anything that leaned too far into like an edgy aesthetic or one that was like a bit too mature you know or too sophisticated i wanted something that was just basic as hell that didn't float too much into any direction and i found these not only did i find these i found these for like 60 percent off Originally these are like $690, $700 and I got them for $300 and that was actually my max. So I was like, I know I can find a really, really good pair of timeless boots for around this price mark, even cheaper probably, but I'm not gonna go over $300. I'm just not going to do it. And then I found these. And then on top of that, they're Andy Millibuser, so icon. They just have everything I want. I wish that they were a little taller in the heel, or not taller in the heel, I wish they were a little taller in um the ankle here but it does pass the ankle so i am okay with that and with the outfits that i have styled these with like it hasn't really been an issue i think i'm just being greedy and since all my boots tend to go about mid-calf i just prefer them go mid-calf but they are fine as they are i love the fact that it's square toe i specifically wanted a square toe boot for my dressy boot in the collection because i feel like it's a very like sophisticated yet masculine element to add to any boot and i really really like it i was a little afraid they were going to look a little too cowboy because of the kind of silhouette that they have but i actually feel like they look not so much when i especially when i put them on too i wear a size eight and i feel like when i tend to put boots on especially ones that are blocky in the heel like this and a bit chunkier up in the toe like this it makes my feet look huge you know but and so i was worried about that too did not happen with these i'm very happy with these i'm very 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 uh <laughs> grateful for the fact that i found these at the price that i did and they're a bitch to get on they are a bitch and a half to get on just because they don't have any pull tabs and this little this little zip right here don't really do nothing basically the way that i do it is i hold here and then i hold here and then i have to like pull this up to create space in this area and then i have to pull this up and back to create space back here it's a lot it's a process but you know i'm hoping that with me wearing them more and breaking them in more it will become less of 
an issue. I'm just so fucking happy about these dudes. Like even the stitching, I don't know how much you can see it, but the stitching that is around the toe or around the shoe, quality babes. It's just quality. And the last pair of boots, <laughs> which also have a story. I didn't want to buy these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I did not want to buy these. I didn't want to be a stereotype. I didn't want to be a statistic of that one queer person in Portland, Oregon, wearing a pair of Tug Martens. I didn't want to be that person. I didn't, but I am this person and it's not my fault why I became this person. So here's the story. I'm gonna do a quick, it'll be a quick little story about how I actually came to get these. So I was also looking for a pair of everyday boots, a plain basic pair of everyday boots that didn't lean too far into any aesthetic, that didn't lean into the combat aesthetic too much, that didn't lean into the biker aesthetic. I wanted the world's most basic black everyday boot no frills no nothing okay i came across these apc boots and enra i think is what they're called or enra something like that and i got them for like 200 dollars. really great price for a really great boot it came in it was beautiful i loved it i fell in love with it i put them on little snug little tight up in there that's what she said. And so I was like, you know what? I gotta make dinner. Let me just put them on while I make dinner and see if they, you know, break in a little bit, see if I can stretch them out just a little bit. Didn't do that. Got real blistery up in the kitchen. And so I was like, you know what? I think these just might be a little too small. Sent them back. Not only did I send them back, I saw that they had an exchange feature on the website. And a lot of people, a lot of these brands don't do exchanges. You basically just send it back and whenever you get your money is when you get your money, then you can repurchase the size that you want. But they had an exchange option. So I was like, oh, bet. So when they when the shoes get in, they're automatically gonna send me the size that I want. What a perfect situation. I love the way that this worked out. So fast forward, they run out of my size. Again, again. And I loved these boots. They were perfect. They were just perfect. But I had to say goodbye and I had to let go. And the runner up was these. The reason why, the main reason why I didn't wanna get a pair of Doc Martens was because I feel that the yellow stitching around them, even though it is the thing about them that makes them iconic, it's the thing about them that people usually purchase them for. It's the big selling point, right? I feel that it looks very novelty, you know what I mean? Like, that's why I wanted a pair of basic black brown boots that didn't have anything unique about them at all. So that way I could wear them with everything. They don't cause any attraction to them. Like just your basic everyday brown black boot. And I feel that although these kind of check a lot of those boxes that I was looking for, that yellow stitch just made it scream, this is a Doc Martin, which kind of is not what I was going for. I wanted, like I said, a basic faceless, nameless black boot. <sighs> But I went into the store and I was like, well, let me just try them on. Let me at least see what they look like on foot. Maybe it's different, you know, in person. And so I went and I did actually prefer these. I did get a different type of leather. This is the Pascal leather. I didn't get the smooth leather because they just look plasticky and they kind of look like, you know, like when you see those videos of like, is it cake or is it real? They kind of look like cake. <laughs> they look like the cake version of these. And this is no shade to anybody who has those boots or that likes those boots, like do you? Uh, your money use it when you need it but um i just didn't prefer it. and then also who has time for breaking in those boots you know what i mean i wanted them to be comfortable right out of the box and that's what i got with these with the pasco leather it's very smooth it's very soft it's very like malleable as well so i didn't have to worry about breaking them in i didn't have to worry about that creasing that happens also with the smooth like shiny leather so all meant to say i ended up getting these and i don't I'm not mad at myself for getting these. I just really kind of wish this wasn't here. But that being said, I did try on the ones that are just like this, but that didn't have, they didn't have the yellow stitching and then the, this didn't have the gum sole. It was like a, just a plain black sole. And they were just, they looked like work boots. And even though they're Doc Martens, like duh, that's kind of what they started off being. It just wasn't the vibe. It just wasn't for me, wasn't for me. And so, yeah, I ended up getting these and I'm not mad at it. Uh, these are much cheaper than what I was going to pay for. And then their Doc Martens are gonna last me a long time. Because I went with this leather, I feel like they're going to look better over time than the other leather. That's just my personal preference. I mean, I'm going to change out these laces for white ones. And some of y'all were saying, I said in another video, my most worn items of 2020 that, you know, those gonna have Nazi vibes and some of y'all 
kind of went a little overboard with that. I'm still going to do it. I like them. I'm glad I bought them. I will just have to get over the fact that I am just a statistic. That is my video. That is my boot collection. And it's going to stay this way for a while. I don't plan on buying any boots. Sneakers, that's another story. That's another story. Those are just endless. The limit does not exist. Okay. But that is the end of my boot collection. I hope that you liked this video. All these boots, if they're so available, are going to be linked in the description. And if you like this video, if you made it all to the end, I think that means you like me a little bit. So go ahead and subscribe, man. Go ahead and like this video, man. And I'll see you very soon in another one. And do not forget, wear what you want, wear what you like. Word out. Peace.